Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Kate Ocha from Bekwara in Cross River State. Bekwara Local Government in Cross River State. Nine months ago, I don't know, maybe I would have been in the pit of hell. Where the worm never die, the fire never quench. Neither to even say I will test water or food. But I thank God so much for sparing my life and making me a born again or who I am today to stand before you. I just want to appreciate God for that. Thank you, Jesus. I, I was a Catholic by the nomination. I was born a Catholic into a family of eight. I was the second born. I lived a worldly life all my life. I never believe that born again is a good thing. I see people who don't put powder, who dresses like I'm dressing now, tying their hair without earring. I used to see them as poor people. No matter who they are, I used to say they are dirty. When they come close to me, I'm a woman of pride. I think one or two persons here would attest to that. Everyone knows me. I'm filled with pride, too pompous. I was worshipping as a Catholic. I never believed. Even fornication is a sin. I was sleeping with two different reverend fathers as a Catholic. And they never told me, if I die in the act of fornication, I will go to hell. What they will tell me is, I will give you a penance. And after this, God will forgive you. I said, what about you who is a man of God? They will tell me, God understand that they are children of God. The Lord knows they don't have wives. So the only way they could help themselves is to sleep with Christian sister in the church. So I was busy doing it and enjoying it. I didn't know I see it as a normal lifestyle for everybody to indulge. So I was just going to hell gradually. Until last year, 2015, it will be one year from next month, the month of March, on the 9th of March last year. I'm a regular uh, worshiper of uh, T.B. Joshua Synagogue Church. How I used to go there. 2014 I was going there each time I stay I don't even go to Catholic Church regularly every Sunday I wake up and sit in my house and just face the television from 8 a.m. till down every every Sunday I worship there I like him so much I don't believe anything people say negative that comes out from those that place I just believe it's a, it's a Messiah of our time so I always go there I have traveled to TB Joshua several times. And this one fearful time that the Lord arranged to arrest me and brought me to this wonderful family I am today. I know it's already been planned. That was on the 9th of March last year, 2015. One year from next month, March. I didn't know this man very well. I used to go there, sow my seed and everything. I don't even pay tithes in my life before. So I, when I want to do anything, I do it in TV Joshua Church. So this time around, I went there. When I succeeded in entering the prayer line, when he arranged us in the prayer line, I was there. The man now came to me, TV Joshua. He now touched me on my head. And I believe that's the day God have already planned for me. When he touched me on my head and said, Who are you in this body? The next thing I saw, his face was like python. And I was afraid. I said, The blood of Jesus. I started binding somebody who is already trying to deliver me. I did like this in the prayer line on the... On the, it was on the 7th on Saturday, the 8th was on Sunday, then ninth was on Monday was the day he called us. I did him like this. I the blood of jesus the blood of jesus and in that church for those of you who are listening to me now if you have been watching emmanuel tv before you were told to this and say that they don't call the blood of jesus in that church they only pray and say you are healed in the mighty name of jesus you are healed in the mighty name of jesus 
Nobody will call the blood of Jesus in that church. So I don't know how God put the blood of Jesus in my mouth. That is why I will say, that is my day of salvation. The day God have already arranged to arrest me. Because he has passion for me. He didn't want me to go and perish in hell. So my people, as I'm talking to you, the next thing the ushers, they came and held me. As a woman who was bleaching like this. I just want you to see, even from afar, you can see me here. This is how I used to look eight months ago. I was like this. I bleach, I put jewelries. A lot of people today, when they see me on the road, they hardly recognize me. When they look at me, they will see again, you see your elder sister. I say it's me with pride. Because the Lord told us that anyone that is ashamed of him, he will also be ashamed. So I'm not ashamed. I'm proud of the way I'm looking now. Better because I have known the truth. The Bible says when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. I was like this. Anywhere I go, men are always coming to me. Last 2014, uh, late 2014, my auntie said deeper life. She bought Sister Linda cassette and gave to me. I was watching it. Some days before that day, I already went to the market and spent so much money to fix eyelashes in my eyes. So when she was talking about her mother, I felt that pity. How she saw her in hell. I was crying. My tears was coming. I was fixing nails like this. You can see I'm not lying. It's here. The evidence is here. You can see what I'm showing you here. This is how I used to dress. This is how I used to look. You can see it. Dress and look white. Even the last election, I partook in it. So, what I'm trying to say is, when they gave me that cassette, I was watching it. And I decided to remove it when she was talking about eyelashes, devil's armpit. I said, no, she's lying. This lady, she wants to open a church. I will not want to, I will not want to listen to what she's saying. It's a lie. Who told her it's just rubber? Meanwhile, I was putting lashes. I had to remove the cassette and fling it away. Because I didn't believe all what she was saying. I believed to some point, but some later, I didn't believe. I did not know I will know the truth very, very, very soon. And today, I know the truth. So, TB Joshua on the ninth, when he touched me, he now called me. He said, come, I want to see you. Like you watch his television, we will come and meet you. Brother, I want to see you. Sister, I want to see you. So, he came and told me, I want to see you. When we went there to see him, he didn't put us in the church. There's a canopy behind the church, just like this, at the back, like where people are cooking there. Then he arranged us there in numbers, and he came to us, he did like this. If you watch him and look him well, he will do like this. But I don't understand that sign. So, I was sitting down there. He now said, many are called, few are choosing. We are all going to be a lucky man and woman as we are sitting down here. In two months exactly, I am going to come back and testify for a brand new Jeep. See a letter five that I'm going to buy. And I'm going to build two tall story buildings. A very captivating one. How am I going to do it? If I will put that thing in my hand and be counting it day and night without removing it and make sure water did not touch it. That is how he held the hand in his ear. And when I sit inside a vehicle and I'm traveling, I should just start remove that thing and start counting, doing like this, doing like this, doing like this, and say, Holy Spirit, take more of me. I need your power. I need your wealth. I need your finances. I need your fame. In two months exactly, I am going to come back and stand here and testify a lot, just like every other person will testify. They will put pictures. How is this, that? And when I look at it, I was shocked. So the most striking thing to me again was the one he brought a long white rope. And he said, this rope, we should look at it. He did not tell us. For those of us who are going to all this first prophet, without knowing who they are, when you get there, you will not see another side of it. I didn't know TB Joshua is like that. If anybody here has been going there, maybe you don't know. You will be initiated out of ignorance. What you didn't bargain for. So when he brought out the rope and he said, this rope is white. Look at it very well. You will look at the beat. He's giving us this thing that we are going to put in our hand, the bracelet. You will put it in your hand. You will remove it and count every day and put it back. And if the thing didn't size you, don't worry. Cut it. It can still work. Remove this uh, beat. Carry this white rope and hang it back in it and tie it. That's it. But the manner in which they brought that rope to give us. If everybody look at it, they will not know. They will just think it's ordinary white rope two tall girls. I mean two tall girls with long hair just like myself I fixed. 
then wearing a short thing like this. They now held the white robe like a baby and they held it like this, as if they are pampering it. They will bring it to you and do like this. You will not pet the head very softly. You will pet it. I said, no. This is this doesn't look like ordinary rope again. That is when the Spirit of God started telling me inside me that no, this is something else. This is not what we think it is. When they brought it to me, I said, no, I'm not going to touch it. When they brought it, it's okay. When they brought it, I said I was not going to touch it. Then the woman that sits beside me now touched me and say, okay, you can touch it. So I said, well, already I am here. I have looked around. It was in the evening. No way to run. Nothing to do. And I've seen security everywhere. And now I've discovered that this place is a Illuminati place. It's no more a church like we know. That was how I managed to touch it. And he said, I'm going to dream. I'm going to buy this. It was when I got home, I started crying. I said, Lord, indeed, I have entered one chance. I didn't know I've not been serving you before. But now I want to serve you because I know this man. I, I know who he is. And I know I have an idea about Illuminati, who they are. If you save me, I am going to serve you. As I'm moving, as you are seeing people here, we are preaching every day. Those that are wearing trousers, make do makeup, doing all this, all of them knowing ah, that is a sin. Oh, you know that me too, I know, but I was still doing it because I don't believe. So I was seeing people doing it. So by then, and I know that it's a sin without anybody telling me. I said, Jesus, save me from the hand of this vampire. I will serve you. Please save me, oh, save me, oh. I didn't know what to do. The Lord appeared to me in my dream and told me I should repent, or else I will not make heaven. I should throw away all those things. When I wake up in the morning. Me, I started crying. I carried a thing. I had a dream. Some of us are going to dream that same night. Anything you see, you will have it on the 9th of March last year. That everybody is going to dream. It will not pass today. And actually, I dreamt. I saw myself building mansion that is taller than this house. The people that were nailing the house, they are wearing black, about 20. Me, who is commanding them to nail? I was wearing sleeveless, black, and I was doing like this. Hey, hey, like a light pride. I was doing like this. Do like this, do like this. I was just commanding them. They were building it. I woke up. I told my sister. I said, hallelujah. I said, no, you don't know whether you'll be the first. I will start sacrificing for this man. That he told me, I should go and do. I know what I saw. I was afraid to even tell my sister. I was afraid to tell my father when I came back from there. I was afraid to tell anybody. So when I was going for this, with this thing, it was disturbing me. The man started appearing in my dream and disturbing me, tormenting me that he must kill me. I should not tell anybody. It will bring many people they will pursue me. My life became miserable that week. I was so emaciated. I don't know what to do. I was crying. I said, look at what I've carried my hand to go and put. Like that, on my way to Catholic Church, when I was going to Catholic Church on my way, I dressed my own way as I used to dress. I put my long earring, put my makeup as I used to put it like that. Then, and I had a voice in my heart. Deeper life. I said, shoot. Can it be deeper life? Deeper life of all place. If they ask me to go to any church, I will tell them I cannot go. Why deeper life? That is that, since it's God, and when God gives you authority, who are you to say no? Even if he leads me now, as I want to, my daughter, Sister Kate, threat from here to Atamunu, I will go without complaining. I saw deeper life. I just started moving to super life, forgetting the Catholic church I was going with those things because I wanted to go and give to my father, the Reverend Father there. But my spirit is telling me, Reverend Father has slept with you now. They have defiled yourself. They cannot, they cannot deliver this kind of thing. Why not you look for another man of God to deliver you? Then you come back to deeper life. So as I was going, I had a voice in my heart, deeper life. I just turned like this. I didn't see who talked to me. That was how I walked straight. The bad life is not too far from where I'm staying. So it's turned through. I landed inside like this with all those big things, traffic gate or eyelashes. I landed like this. All of them were looking at me like just the entire church. Me, I was just looking at them like this. I don't even know what is happening. One man now say, Sister, sister, come sit down. I said, eh. I sat down. Other members, the choir, they started turning, looking at me. I said, when I look, I just a do myself. Now, I come here to stay for a church. When I rub powder, when I rub anything, your yeah, yeah, face. I was just there talking, talking, talking like that. I didn't know I was going to be there. And today, I am here today. I just want to thank God. And I want you all to thank God with me for saving my life, for sparing my life from the hands of that vampire called TB Joshua. 
Oh, I thank God. I don't know where I would have been today. I will start driving five brand new jeeps. Two of them will see me. Hey, chill lady. Hey, first day the all friend of theirs they used to call me. But I will be killing people. Okay, sit inside the vehicle and do like this. Everybody will die. Do I know who in this place that will be there? Do I know if this is your family that will be there in that vehicle? But I just want you to thank God with me. If not for anything, at least God has saved me. All those hearing rubber trade, whatever, in short, I have a lot of testimony. The second one I have, I will not say it today until our daddy here permits me. If he sees it, it's a divine revelation to confirm what mommy Linda has been saying. That hellfire, God has taken me there. Heaven, he has shown me the house of Kumuyi. He has shown me his wife in heaven. He has shown me trade there, won me on trust and so many things. I just have to reserve that for today until our daddy see it. If he permits me, you can hear the rest of it. But for now, I say, may God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless.